Well, you can see that was a fish. Look at it. He's behind. It's run off. I have to break it free, though. Dragged into the bottom, I think. The problem with these things is they're designed really for small fish and big fish do take them. I've had some pretty big pollock on these before. You see when you they just literally bend the hooks out. <laughs> Having a rod snap doesn't help either. You know what the nicest thing about breaking a rod is? Go buy a new one. <laughs> I, um, I just thought about it, actually. I got um, I got a whole bunch of vouchers. I had a birthday a couple of weeks back. I got a whole load of vouchers for uh, a fishing tackle shop. So I know I'm going to be using them on brand new spinning rod. I think. But, I mean, the thing is, they're getting so thin. I don't know if you see that. How just how thin that is. I mean, you literally get them that thin, all you got to do is put a slight chip in it or a dink and they're finished. Well, I think I'm going to have to pack this in. We've tried several marks. The tide's going down now and we haven't caught a single fish. So. <laughs> all we've got is a broken rod. See. I tell you, fishing quite often really tests your patience. Like today, you see we broke a rod, caught no fish. The other day, we well, a week or two ago, we hit our back, which is still healing. Yeah, you gotta have a lot of patience in this game. Right, I'm gonna go do the pots. Lot, like I say, that I've got small claws or one claws these days. That's the result of having well, basically, too many lobsters in one area, they fight all the time. This is the sort of size we want. That and bigger, of course. So I've got high hopes for these sets I've got out here. Now I pot out here every year in this area. Last year was the first year I potted out here for a while, then I moved my gear completely out of this area. Simply 
because I was catching lobster. I had a few to start with, and all I was catching was pot loads of baby lobsters, which meant that it's probably been fished hard during the winter, and all you're catching is undersized stuff. I mean, you thought you were catching a lot of lobster, but when you actually worked it out, how many you threw back, you were only literally keeping one or two, and other days you weren't keeping any, you were just throwing back six, seven, eight lobsters. So, yeah, it just wasn't worth being here last year. And that's the first time in several years that I haven't potted here that year. Anyway, we're going to see if there's any this year. Hopefully there's some this year, and it's not going to be the same as last year with pop loads of small ones. Or nothing. But it's nice to see small ones. It's no good if that's all you catch. Like I say, these two sets, four pots. Let's see what we can get out of these four pots. Like I say, this is where I've got high hopes. Again, one chlorus. So, this one is. Undersized, just undersized. This is how it normally is. But it's only got one claw anyway, so this one. This one is just oversized. Perfect. That's one. And this one I can see is size, I don't need to measure this one. And that one is a decent one. Not a giant, but it's decent. Okay, for a spider. Okay, that's the first pop. Pop number two. Nice one. Just under. Okay, I think there's enough bait in there. So just drop them straight back.
Right. Next two. Look at that. A lot of rock where I've got these. Yeah, that'll be size. This lobster here, got no bands on. This lobster is bang on the size limit or just slightly over the size limit, so it's a legal lobster. But like I say, pretty much on the size, fraction over, a millimeter over. So, what I do sometimes is when I come in, when I get ones like that, because I've had an alright day today and I've had a few lobsters, I'm going to put this one back over the side. Now, I've brought it in close because there are people that come out with dinghies, they come out with kayaks, and they're obviously their range isn't that far. If they put a pot or two out, they can't go too far out necessarily with their gear. And then, because they've got to keep their gear light in those sort of boats, if you go too far, your gear will get dragged away. So, you know, with the strong tides and that. So, I like to throw these over the side. Not all the time, but sometimes I just throw a few extras. So, he'll go in there. He might not get caught. He might get caught. Might be somebody with a great big boat that's got a pot in here that'll catch him. But it increases the chance of, like I say, small boats or kayaks from catching it, then uh, it's good. It's nice to think that maybe somebody will catch that in a small trap or a pot and it'll make their day. I do the same as well occasionally with um, the brown edible crabs as well. I'll bring those in, you know, not tiny ones, but the half decent ones. And sometimes I think, oh, I've only got the one, and I'll let it go in here. And uh, like I say, hopefully it'll make somebody's day. This is the lobsters we're taking with us. I've um, put the crab in a store pot for now. And I'll probably bring those in tomorrow. Which to you will be a completely different day.